Let's start by going to media. And I'm going to start from the beginning for, uh, for the newbies. As you see here, we have two tabs. There's a My tab and a Zone tab. All of the media that you'll see within this section here will be accessible to any user that's logged into the system. The My tab gives you access to only a specific user's media. So I'm logged in here as Jeremy. So I can put backgrounds, pictures, all that in here. And then when Amber logs in, uh, she won't see my stuff and I won't see her stuff. So if you want to share content across the board, uh, it's better to switch over to the Zone tab. So I'm going to do that. I've already uploaded a background, as you can see here. You can upload however many you want. That was in a, another lesson, um, so I won't cover that here. But if we go back to media, if, if you're going to be uploading pictures or video clips, you should do that before. So I'm going to go to templates, and we're going to create a new template. We've already got a slew of them in here, but I want to click Add to create a new one. As you can see, we have a bigger preview than before. We can show the full size, or I can uncheck it and it'll just scale. First, I'm going to name this. Okay. And if we had another background in here, we could choose it from here, but I want to stick with this business casual. And then I'm going to go to blocks, and since we don't have anything in there yet, I'm going to click new. And it throws in, by default, a text block. So from here, what we can do is we can either, we can choose rectangle, ellipse, text, picture, web picture, or video. Uh, since we're just starting this, I'm going to stick with text for now and name it. It's going to be title. And then click and drag to move. So I've moved it, and now what I want to do is resize it. So see how the arrow turns diagonal? I'm going to click this, and then I can move it. I can resize it vertically and horizontally. I just want to do that, and we're good to go. Also, for those of you that like manual control, uh, you can plug in these numbers manually if you want. But who's going to use that? So after that, uh, what I want to do is change the actual text within there. So I click on the text field here. And I'm just going to say, good morning. Now, when a user is creating a new bulletin, they'll see either a one-line field or a multi-line field size. So since this is only one small header, I'm just going to keep it at a one line. I can choose small, medium, or large. I'll just I'll do medium. Uh, text color, you can pick here from the uh, color picker. Or if you know the hex value, you can type that in. Or you can even do white. Or black. Or red. Or whatever color you want. I'm going to stick with white. Then what I'm going to do is come down here and click on the text outline and I'm going to get rid of that text outline so it looks a little more clear. There we go. I will do one more thing to this. Uh, text shadow. Draw shadow behind the text just to give it a little bit of separation here. Turn that up. Bring the opacity down a little bit. There we go. Now in the 
previous versions of Carousel, we would have to click on New Text and redo all of those parameters that we just set. But, now let me delete this here, delete block, with this new version of the template editor, I can duplicate. So I just duplicated my header, and then I'm going to bring it down. And also another new feature is you see that snap to, I can either center it or snap it to the center or the, the end or the beginning of another text block. So I'm going to center it to the title. So now I'm just going to tweak this a little bit. First of all, you want to you want to rename your your text block. So I'm going to say this is subtitle. And then I'm going to change the text in here. I'm going to limit that to a one line uh, block of text, but I'll make it a little larger. And what I want to do here is change the font color to be black. And then turn off the shadow. We can change the font. I'm going to make it change it to Arial so it's not as bold. And then by default, it's set to auto size, uh, but I want to uncheck that and just set a point size manually. Why? Because I want to. So notice how we have the, the both of these text fields are, are centered. I think that is fine for the banner, but uh, in this case of the subtitle, what I want to do is align it to the left. So I'm going to go to text alignment, and we can align to the left, center, or to the right. I'm going to do to the left. And this is also a new feature of 6.0 where we can now align to the top, middle, and bottom of the field. So I'm going to do the top, and it, as you see there, it pushes it up. If I wanted to do the bottom, it would uh, obviously push it to the bottom. So I'm going to do the top. And then just to clean this up a little bit, I'm going to uh, tighten the size of the, the height of the block. And as you notice here, we get the down arrow. As I click and drag this, and I'll just drop it there. And there we go. So I'm going to reselect this, duplicate it, awesome, and then move it down. I should also point out now that you can do the, the drag and drop, or you can also adjust the position with these little sliders here. Or again, as I mentioned, uh, you can plug in the actual number. Uh, but you can also move with the arrow keys, so I'm going up one at a time, one pixel at a time. Uh, if you hold down shift, it moves it 10 pixels. So this is good for just nudging text w as you need. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and move this down a little bit further. And then this is going to actually be my body text, so I'm going to expand it. So again, the arrow is pointing down. I'll click and drag that all the way down. That gives me a, little, a nice little paragraph of text. Again, you'll want to go to the name and type and rename it. So I'm just going to say this is body. And then if I want, uh, I can throw in some lorem ipsum text. Booyah. So notice how there's more information here. So when we're dealing with paragraph text, it's better to have this set to multi-line field size so that it gives you uh, a much larger amount of space to, to actually write the text in.